Hello everybody, I am speaking from the future because by the time of this video, I have already filmed the review for Bulk a long, long time ago. And so, it's time that we gave Bulk an opponent. And we do have his opponent right here. So this is Core Hunter from Hero Factory Breakout Wave 2. Now, I put Bulk here because, you know, every... In, in the Breakout series, there is... Each hero has a duel against one villain. Every single hero has been introduced in Breakout, and they each have a villain to fight. Bulk has the battle of the serial killer known as Core Hunter. So Bulk, let's get you out of the picture for now. You will come back shortly. Let's get your bag out of the picture as well. And let's take a look at the main focus of today's review, which is Core Hunter. Now, Core Hunter, I'd say, is probably one of Hero Factory's most dangerous and deadliest villains ever because, well, even says in his name, his whole mojo is to rip out the life out of heroes. The cores are what's powering our beloved heroes. And Core Hunter's, I guess, his main ambition is to undo all of that. And so that's why I just basically call him a serial killer, but for Hero Factory. And uh, yeah, he's definitely... Definitely not someone you want to be facing against, but it is Bulk's duty to capture this guy and bring him to justice. So, uh, first things first, you need to notice that the top has been cut off. <laughs> As a person who keeps his bags, I don't approve that, but I got this from a third party seller. Now, third party sellers, some are new, some can be selling them used, and I couldn't, f I did, I had a watch list on a new sealed core hunter but before someone was much faster than me and bought it before I did so I had to buy this one but I trust the seller is keeping this dude in some good condition I be better because I'm trying to do a video here but yeah so that's why in case you're wondering this is a used set so this is set 6222 51 pieces and like all of them except for a couple they come in he comes in the bag and on the back of the bag, you can see, uh, well, just his play features and everything. So, whatever, I think this is actually one of my favorite breakout villains. And I've been looking forward to this guy a lot uh, when I first saw fake pictures of him. So, let's see what Core Hunter really looks like physically. And, uh, well, don't need to cut open the bag, so I just gotta rip it open like this. Alright, what do we got? First and foremost, we have a little hose thing. I guess this is to power his blaster. Instruction manual, kind of screwed up, but it's not too bad. I do want to show you though, there is a combination model between Bulk and Core Hunter to make a Core Hunter Centaur. And if you haven't seen the Bulk video, I'd suggest you go watch that first because I'm doing heroes, then villains, heroes, and villains. And that's the pattern I'm doing. Okay, well, at least he actually kept the bags. He actually didn't throw away the bags. So, that's a very good thing. Although it's open, but he still kept it. Okay, so in this tiny bag, we've got, let's see. Oh my. Uh, we've got a bunch of these claws. A lot of these claws. And, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of uh, these bloody red talon claws. I guess, yes, it's for his overall look. It's really to spice him up in terms of his uh, display, you know, to, to, so he'll look more more like a serial killer if, you, if, you, if you're asking what I mean. All right, the rest here, we just got two of these red spikes again for texture, and then just some axle pins that no one really cares about. All right. What else we got? Okay, well, some of the pieces are falling out because this, this is a used bag. So, oh my god. I'm wondering, Phil, is that everything? No loose parts inside? Doesn't look like it. Alright. This bag's on its perfect condition, but you know what? Gotta live with it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, all these pieces are loose AF. Even this part, you got some piece stuck in here. How do you I need another eh, there we go. Alright. Torso. 
uh, the torso here is the or the standard one, the medium one with the extra shoulder joints on the uh, yeah on this side. So again, just another torso, <laughs> nothing new at all. All right. Well, I'm actually surprised he actually kept all the bags. Good job, seller. Good job. Okay, what do we got? Mm. Well, we got some hair. Ugh. Ew, that is disgusting. Ew. Why the heck is there hair? Okay, seller, if you're watching this, um, should have checked the bag for hair before, you know, packaging everything. Um, guess I fished out a disgusting piece of blonde hair. Oh. Alright. We don't ever talk about that. I'm, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna give Core Hunter a good, a good dip with some Lysol or something. You know, because COVID-19, and plus there's hair in this set, so, um, kinda wanna clean this guy now. Alright, so feet, we got two black feet, shouldn't there be three? Eh, I don't know. Two black feet. Yeah. Nothing new at all. For that. And then, we've got, I have a feeling we're missing a few pieces. And if we are... I will have my extra parts ready, unless it's an important piece. Oh, okay, actually look at the bones first before we get to some more interesting things. So bones, not a lot surprisingly. Uh, okay, let's look at, okay we have these pieces, or these bone pieces, the standard stuff. We've seen all these before, just pause the video if you want to look at these and, and count them out. And look in them full detail. I'm not going to waste my time showing you each and every one of them. Uh, we also got, let's see, just two of these red knee joints. So just a same old but a different color. So yeah, there's that. And then uh, armor. Actually, wait, let's get let's get this out of the way first. This is for his spear shooter and the ball, which keeps rolling away. So here's the ball. It's a green one. And then here's the bottom half, which is the red part. And then this is the top half, gunmetal gray of the shooter. Then we got these things. Boring. Uh, should be three, right? Yes. Three paws. Three paws. For the 3.0 black paws, which these are used for. Not for his arm. Not his. These actually act for his shoulder armor, not not his. Uh, not for his like hands, actual hands. In fact, does this guy even have hands? I don't even know. Um, two number fives in red. Very, very nice. And then, uh, we got these things. Nothing new. This piece, don't know what to call this. Just an extra ball joint add on her. Add on her, add on her, I don't even know. Uh, these are for his core removal weapon, like his uh, his thing to use to rip out the cores. Gunmetal gray spikes. These are new pieces. We've gotten them before since Savage Planet. Not new at all. And then we got two number fours in black. And then shoulder add-ons in black. These are some pretty neat pieces, not gonna lie. I don't know, these are one of my favorite pieces, and they've definitely been very useful for mock making. Multi-tool ice shield, but in black. Wonderful, it's the first black one I've received. All the ones I have are silver or gray. Never had one in black. Uh, and then we got the head. Head, Glatorian, uh, transparent red, and then this is his helmet. That helmet looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Uh, well, if the camera focus, maybe I can just tell you how cool it is. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Okay, whatever. Anyways, just, yeah, if you can see it, uh, holds, there's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is more like a heat visor, so that looks really, really neat on him. Very cool. I can't wait to see what it looks like with the full thing assembled with this helmet on. And by the way, Core Hunter used to be a former hero. Uh, some people don't realize that, but he used to be a former hero. Uh, just a normal chest piece, black chest piece, no exclusive print, single mold. And then finally, his body armor. So this is the 
well the new body armor for all, basically all the heroes which they use the black mold this one no special printing at all and Core Hunter has his Volt Success one in purple. But this is perfect for mock making. No special print. So you can literally use this piece on almost anything you'd like. So, very versatile piece. Alright, let's now uh, we'll assemble this serial killer altogether. I'm actually very excited to see how Core Hunter is going to turn up. So, let's get right to it. Let's, let's do it. And there we have it, Core Hunter. Man, what a awesome looking figure, I gotta say that. And he's very, very well covered and there's an interesting style of, you know, texture and the overall looks of him. And I think he's definitely one of my favorite breakout villains, that's for sure. First and foremost though, size. How big is he? Well, let's take him with his rival hero, Bulk. All right, well, they're about the same height, uh, about the same. Uh, I think Bulk is a little bit taller, but it's definitely an even match. You know, it, this is one, after all, one of the most dangerous uh, villains here on the Hero Factory list, most wanted villains. And uh, well, Bulk surely looks like he's gonna have some fun putting up a fight against this dude. But thank you, Bulk, again, for the demonstration. Let's take a look at Core Hunter. So, his overall color scheme is very, very suitable. They don't overdo it, unlike uh, <clears throat> Voltix. <laughs> they maintain their color scheme on him very, very well. You can see he's got black, red, and a little bit of gunmetal gray on the, on the weapon and the shooter. But apart from that, everything else has a consistent color scheme. I think red and black was a smart choice and definitely one of my favorite color schemes and uh, not bad at all. So let's start off with the legs. Legs are built and covered exactly the way I was expecting it to be. I kind of wish some, some of the other heroes slash villains shared the exact same build style because then this is actually good. It's well covered even on the foot and the thighs it's well covered and, and just with the red uh, knee joints it completely works well with the color scheme overall so not bad on the legs at all and then for the body you've got you know the standard hero body armor with the chest plate I feel like that's a little bit plain uh, well after all since this guy is a former hero they should at least have a little bit of an influence of a hero core here or something like that just you know he was once a former hero, so he needs to have a little bit of hero influence on him. So, yeah, it's, it's, but apart from that, the simplicity of it, it's still not bad overall, and I still like it a lot. But, the head, ho ho ho! Well, I don't think the Glatorian head kind of really fit in with the dimensions of the helmet, but the helmet itself, once you put in the head on, you got the, uh, the glow going on, the orange glow from the goggles man that looks pretty sick not going to lie you can see there's you can basically see through it and then on the top here you can just see the skull is not a bad helmet at all i think it's one of the really cool <laughs> villain villain head designs not a bad one at all now let's look at his arms his arms both shoulders use the 3.0 paw piece with the claws here extra layer of looks textures and I don't know mix him it actually looks better than if you were to use a normal armor piece and add like a shoulder add on this I think this was a particularly smart choice overall 
Now his weapons, well he's got two. Number one, you have a shooter. Plain old shooter, like all the other heroes. And some villains have shooters too, Core Hunter is one of them. Uh, kind of don't get the point of this little spike. I think I think that's a little bit excessive. I don't think that was <laughs> that was necessary to be there. But you know what? It's an extra piece. Don't really get how this works. So this is like funneling into the back of him. Is this like charging? Is this an energy rifle or something that's like he has to blast some energy after the ball is green? Don't really understand this rifle or this shooter too much. Yeah, I'm not quite fond. I'm not. I don't really quite understand of what they're trying to go for here but I don't know that's just that's just that's just my assumption I don't know if you know then correct me in the comments now for his other weapon now this this has another piece of hair <laughs> but this is a hero's worst nightmare period like this is literally the anti-hero thing this is the tool that he uses to remove the cores out of a hero. And, uh, well, it looks great, but if you look at it from a lore point of view, it's kind of a dark weapon if you ask me. This is the thing that takes the life away of a hero. But, not gonna lie, for a weapon this dangerous, it still looks pretty good. Uh, I, like the, I like the overall look of it, it looks pretty nice. Now I would maybe want to spice up this weapon a bit, because then again, it's a super dangerous, life-threatening weapon. So, I would simply add two lightsaber, red lightsaber blades and these two holes here, just to give the overall evilness of the tool. Just to make it even look more bad in a good way. So, I don't know. Again, since this is a serial killer weapon, it's still not a bad weapon in terms of design. I really enjoyed it, putting this together. Not a bad design at all, although if I was a hero, I'd definitely be terrified of this weapon. And uh, Bulk really has some courage that he's gonna need to fight such a dangerous villain like Core Hunter, who has a weapon that could literally rip out his core. This is why I said Bulk should have, uh, you know, gotten started with the Brain Attack hero hero clamp cores, <laughs> like the the core clamps. He should have had he should have had those equipped on him already when he's facing off a guy like him. Then again, his core would have much per better protection from Core Hunter. So yeah. Finally, the back. He's well covered from the back. He's got an extra pair of uh, the 3.0 paws with the spikes there, so pretty well covered. I would say this extra ball joint is sticking out. That's that's a bit weird. Possibly put just put another armor piece here to cover it up. This just looks bare. See the top half of oh, is nicely covered very well, but the bottom half here, nah, it's just too exposed, man. It needs to be covered. So I don't know, but uh, yeah, that, that's that's really the only complaints I have about him. But like overall. He doesn't look like a bad villain at all, I think. He is a very, very cool weapon, and not weapon, villain. One of my favorite villains, that's for sure. And, uh, well, what do I think of him overall? I am 100% satisfied with Core Hunter. He's an awesome villain. I like the concept of him, although, you know, it may be disturbing that he, you know, that, that of his main intentions, he's still very very cool in terms of looks quality and everything and i like his 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 design of his well his uh anti-core tool and his shooter uh well i'm probably gonna say the spike there is very very unnecessary but apart from that not a bad villain at all so i'm gonna give core hunter here a nine out of ten I'm just, everything about him just makes me smile. Not from a lore point of view, but from a, a product, like a Lego set point of view. Just a, just a toy point of view, not a, not a storyboard, storyline point of view. If I was looking at it from a storyline point of view, then uh, yeah, I would definitely have some hate for this guy. But, eh, pretty great, pretty great set. So 9 out of 10, just maybe cover the back and that will be fantastic. So that's it for Core Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have not checked out his the hero that he's combating, which is Bulk, go watch that as well. And if you agree with me, like the video. If you don't agree with me, dislike the video and subscribe to the channel for more because we will bring you more content as soon as possible. 
And we're almost done with breakout. We're almost there. We're getting there. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Peace out.